Welcome back, my BG Scrubs. Uh, you know, it's been a while, right? It's been a while since we reacted to True Story animations. And so, you know, I decided to just, you know, YouTube it. It's not, instead of Google it, you say you say YouTube it. I YouTubed it. I put in True Story animations. And I found something that caught my eye just a little bit. My no, sisters are crushing on me. <laughs> uh, Despacito, uh, play the banjo, please. This one comes from the channel True Story. It's really self-explanatory, isn't it? Although we have reacted to them before, uh, link them down below, all right? Go check them out. Uh, you're probably gonna want to because from what I can see this story is gonna be in like three parts So I'm not gonna react to all of them <laughs> But they say we especially pick stories that will spark some debate and conversation and the, yeah, well I have a conversation I would like to have with you Oh, and it's just <laughs> it's so ironic that he's in anime as well because this is the kind of thing that would happen in certain animes I think relationships within family that that are blood related are not okay Don't think it's okay. Some people are into that, but that's just wrong just wrong to me. I'm going to take you through the crazy roller coaster ride that is my life. Oh. You'll probably be amazed at how much I've seen in just 20 mere years of my life. I'm surprised that I'm still here to tell you everything. <laughs> I should be dead. Anyways, let's get started from the very beginning. I was born into the family after three girls. Oh, were those the girls? Well, being a boy put me at a disadvantage. Really? How, you ask? How? My dad wanted another girl. Woo, your dad's got some hairy legs. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous, I know, but it was what. So his dad wanted a girl. He was obsessed with having girls, even though he had three daughters already, and I had to bear the brunt of his crazy obsession. He raised me like a girl, <laughs> and I know that there's no gender-specific way of raising someone. But the I thing mean, with kind of actually, he literally treated me as if I were a girl. I was supposed <laughs> to dress up like a girl, grow my hair out like a girl, and, as my dad put it, even act. Like a girl. Oh, you see these balloons? Put them in your shirt. But dad, I don't want to put them in your shirt. You're a pretty girl, aren't you? You are my favorite daughter. <laughs> when I was enrolled in actual school, everything was a disaster. My dad used to dress me up in the uniform meant for girls. And what? Needless to say, I was the laughing stock for all my classmates. Everyone was going. <laughs> but luckily, that phase passed, and as I entered into adolescence, I was able to protest. Oh, thank God! I rebelled against Dad and tried to do what I wanted to do. Oh, well, I wonder why. I was young. Too young to go against my. Why socialize when you can watch anime? That is such a good shirt idea. Oh my God, I might buy that. Despite it hurting me, of course he used to get mad at me. But man. I was done with his ridiculous obsession of treating me like a girl. I, you know, I would like, be too, what dude. What the heck? Did yeah. he not see my suffering? Why was he so <laughs> intent on making a fool out of me? Uh, this is actually I good voice, like, wishes and good didn't narration. didn't react very nicely, obviously. That was the day when my whole family turned against me. Oh, was that your my mom? My mom supported dad. Yeah, I wasn't surprised. Not in the slightest. Your mom supported dad? You, it's a boy! He wants to be a boy, let the man be a boy! He had been like that ever since I came into this world. I doubted sometimes if she even considered me as her son. As for my not, sisters, <laughs> probably well, not. Somehow they always found it amusing to see me suffer. I think you get the idea now. I was basically unwanted mm, in my. I don't know if I do. Family. I had no idea what I was still doing with them and why I put up with it. But it's not like I had money and could run off. I was still dependent on them. Hold up. Did I say dependent? Now uh, let me clarify it for you. I, yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Even though I was dependent on them, they didn't think much of me. They were fully prepared to make me a failure in life if I didn't conform to their ideals. If you and wouldn't be a girl. they accomplished it somewhat. I'll tell you how. Please! They enrolled me in a different Bro, school- Bro, the ads coming! <laughs> ah! They enrolled me in a different school than my sisters. The catch here was that the education at my school was horrible compared to the others. The teachers didn't bother coming to the class or came super late. <laughs> and- <laughs> Why would they pay the teachers to not come to the class? The administration didn't care. No one cared if the students were skipping classes or failing in their subjects. Everything was chaotic. I was surprised at how the school was still functioning. Yeah, me My parents too. knew all about this, yet they didn't do anything. They wanted me to go there. They, want to they wanted me to have a poor stupid. education. If I had left it up to them, I'm sure I wouldn't even have the knowledge of basic things. But I knew my parents very well, and I also knew what they wanted. And that's why I was ready to turn the tables on them. Put the balloons. You see the balloons? Put them in your shirt. If you don't do that, you can't be a part of this family. I started self-studying. My mom didn't have any idea about it. If she did, she would have stopped. She didn't know it was even possible. Resources. I used to lock myself up in my room and study at night when everyone was asleep. It didn't lie. matter that the teachers you were watching doing anime. Properly. I could manage my studies just fine. That's why everyone in my family was shocked when I received very good grades. 
It really does say, it actually did say very good. Very good. They were even higher than what my sisters had scored. Woo! Mom adopted so when do they fall in love with them? After that, and had always tried to engage me in housework so that I can never get the time to study. So he's kind of like a Cinderella, oh, but like a gender bin Cinderella, literally, like, but the, they want him to be a girl. I still don't know why they want him to be a girl. It's just, you can't really, it's all messed up. It's time I tell you about the time when things started changing in my favor. Ooh, yes, finally. it happened, eventually. Thank God. My hard work and determination finally paid off. In the first year of college, I did some research and made a website for online courses. It was just an attempt, of course. I wasn't really sure of its success or if it would succeed at all. But to my surprise, it yielded good results. Actually, good is an understatement. It had excellent results. Ooh, my, my boy coding his way up to the, fu to the future. It became pretty popular in a matter of a few months, mostly because many students didn't have time for their traditional way of learning. Well, you won't believe it, or maybe you will. I don't control you, but my website was so <laughs> successful. It sounded like threatening. I love that part so much. I don't control you. You do what you want. That's the whole message behind this video. You do what you want. You don't want to be a boy. You don't want to be a girl. You do what you want. Your parents make you be a girl and your sisters apparently like you and we haven't got to that part of the story yet you, you do whatever you want i don't control you i mean you could subscribe if you could like this, smash like i don't control you but soon enough i started earning in six figures per month oh yeah it was just like a dream six figures true. dang the catch here was that i had to keep this all a secret from my so-called family they ain't wouldn't no family. Even let me start a website let alone start earning Dude, he got I on that wix. Sure that they wanted me dependent on them for the rest of my life. Why else did my mom go out of her way to try and make me a failure? They look like anime characters well, too. Too bad for her I that like I that. ruined all her plans. I kept my mouth shut about my earnings and my website for a few months. I was waiting for the right moment to strike and move out. And that moment came when my dad's business suffered a huge loss. I mean <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me tell you the business he should be in. It's freaking shaving. He needs to get some of that leg hair shaved. I, I don't know. I'm just, it's just, I don't know why. I'm just drawn to it. Now, don't call me crazy for this, but in I my might. opinion, he deserved it. <laughs> he deserved all, to lose his job. business was never that good to begin with. <laughs> we were barely scraping by, and he still used to take out loans and stuff to live a lavish lifestyle. He was that thousands of dollars in debt. Responsible. Even then. And secondly, he was extremely lazy. He didn't do anything for his work. Most of the time, he was home, either sleeping or tormenting me. So, <laughs> Is this sleeping and lost standing up? <laughs> he was, my dad's a vampire. <laughs> Did I forget to mention that? I would say he had it coming. It was just a matter of time. He was so deep in debt now that he got a notice to vacate the home. That means all of us had to leave. Yep. Yep. Now my I'm dad homeless. has brought us all to... The <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm homeless. Oh, but it didn't affect me in any way. Ooh, because he rich. As you know... I had already established my own business. Now, this was the moment I was waiting for to reveal everything to them. Ooh, man, I bet she's going to be so happy. I bought a house a few weeks ago. A and whole I house! Any time moving there. I told everything about my entrepreneurship to my family. And let's just say, the looks on their faces were priceless. I bet you they were like, oh. oh what? How come we never found out? <laughs> because I didn't We know everything about you! We are your parents. You can't keep things from us. I'm an adult, and I can make my own decisions. I'm also not a fool. As if I was going to tell you and give you the opportunity to jeopardize them. They were shocked and indignant, of course. I just gotta say, when, how are the sisters gonna start crushing on him now? I don't get it. Melton, you're so smart and hardworking. Yeah, yeah. I always knew that you were meant for great things. Oh. Well, my young older sister Penny, I see it wasn't now. going to stay behind. Oh. I remember that she held my hand, something she's never done once. <laughs> what? My sister never even acknowledged me. Now she wants to hold my hand. That's a little weird. Like, yeah, brothers and sisters can hold hands, but like, I mean, that hug in the beginning did not seem like it was in good, good intentions. Yes, Milton. I always used to tell mom and dad that you will be really successful one day. Really? My sisters really think that I was that dumb? <laughs> How could I forget that they used to watch and laugh every time when mom and dad used to torment me? None of them stood up for me. And now that I had money, they were suddenly on my side? Classic move. Totally not suspicious. 
My family had nowhere to go now, and they had no other option but to try and make it up to me so that I could offer them refuge at my house. Is this story about gold digging sisters? I gotta say, that's a new take on this uh, genre of gold digger stories. Uh, it's kind of like an anime uh, off-brand cursed. It, it's just all bad. Uh, the thing about that was, I wanted them to suffer. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like I freaking had life all those years. Note. I wanted them to know how it felt. If you had a no death note, he'd write their names in there. You. But my conscience didn't allow it. I actually felt bad for them. They were still my family after all. Don't show them mercy. And I couldn't see them on the Especially streets. Especially gold digging sisters. Especially when I had the means to keep them comfortable. <laughs> dang, my morally correct conscience. Ah, oh, dang and it. And to no surprise, I decided to help my poor family. All right. I welcomed them to my home. I like him. I was not on talking terms with them, though. I made it a point to avoid them and do my own stuff. My mom and dad were so ashamed that they couldn't even meet my eyes. Dad picked up some part-time jobs so that he could start to chip away at his debt. As lenient as I was, I wasn't going to pay off his loans and let him get off scot-free. Yeah, why would he you? He hadn't really done anything for me after all, besides torturing me and trying to make me something I wasn't. And I had already paid him back for whatever pissant amount he had spent on me during all those years. <laughs> I didn't want to owe him anything. My mom, on the other you. hand, was silent for a few days before she came back to her shameless nature. Uh oh. One morning, I woke up to see that she had made breakfast for me. I can make my own breakfast, thanks very much. No, don't be like that. It's my pleasure cooking for you. Oh, it was like. <laughs> I thought someone came draw kicking through the roof. I was like, whoa! <laughs> you don't have to. You won't get anything out of this. Please, Milton, I'm not doing it for anything. You have already done so much for me, from shelter to food Ooh, to clothes. Oh, I don't trust her. Oh yeah, this reminds me. I am out of good clothes. Oh. I need to go shopping today. <laughs> oh, I just conveniently cooked this nice Denny's breakfast for you. Oh wait, you know what I just remembered? I'm actually out of uh, fancy clothes. Please buy the Gucci. But oh my God, is this story gonna go with his mom too? Oh God, when is it gonna turn into the worst? My credit card was blocked by the bank. Oh my credit card! I knew it. She was a gold my digger. Card. Of course. Gold digging it was mother. So obvious. She wanted me to give her my card oh, so that cursed. she could spend the money on it. Ha! Not today, Satan. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But, you know, I spent almost 19 years in rag-like clothes. I'm sure yours aren't that bad. I think you'll survive. What are you talking about? You're still wearing them. He's got money. I like him. I like him. I like him because he's so humble that even though he's got, like, so much money and he's so rich and I wish I could be just like him, he's still wearing his anime clothes about one piece. I left her where she was. I had classes to attend anyway. And yes, you heard that right. I was still in college. Just because I had started oh, wow. earning doesn't mean I wanted to discontinue I mean, he's got his whole education. life ahead of him. I was reasonably wealthy, not stupid. And it was two more years before I got my degree, so I could handle that. But yet again, another problem was waiting for me in college. Now that the word about my success and wealth had spread around like wildfire, I suddenly had everyone's attention. The guys wanted to be my friends, and oh. the girls all wanted to date me. Of course, they're all gold diggers. Pretty scary. Like, they all turn to monsters when they find out they have an opportunity to get ahead in life. Why do most people always chase after names and fame? I don't know. They were know. all arrogant and self-centered. I couldn't really bother with any of them. I used to avoid people at my college at all costs, but man, I had no idea that my sisters were after me now. Oh. Yeah. Oh. As shocking as it may or may not sound, my sisters were suddenly really interested in me. No, it is shocking. There's no, oh, it may or may not sound, it is shocking. That's wrong. And I know it was all because of my money and stuff, but still, they were acting way too sketchy. Here's an example. Please, give me an example. A girl oh. from my class okay. was sort of trying to hit on me in the campus cafeteria one day. Out of nowhere, Natalie appeared and started yelling at the poor girl. Milton doesn't date, so try your luck somewhere else. <laughs> uh, Why? what exactly gives you the right to say that to someone? I think she thought it was all just jokes. What was she trying to accomplish? I don't know. When is he going to find out? I decided out? to leave and dashed away from there. But this was not where it ended. Even Penny and Tina were behaving strangely. Uh-oh. So I didn't say much to them, but I needed to do something about it because it was getting out of hands now. I knew my family was weird from the get-go. To save myself and to get rid of all the other girls who kept hitting on me, I decided to fake date someone. 
Big the date. best person for this job was the most popular girl in my college, Kristen. Well, you probably we think that I was doing wrong by trying to deceive a girl, but let me tell you one thing about Kristen. Please do. What? She was a heartbreaker. Oh, she'll she break your heart. She guys just for fun, and when she was bored, she dumped them. She did this to one of my friends, and that's how I found out about her. She had been trying Thank to you. talk to me for a few weeks now, ever since my popularity had suddenly gone up. But I had ignored her until now. Now, I needed her to keep away the other girls and my own sisters. I seized that opportunity. I didn't have to do much. She came to me one day while I was in the cafeteria. She started flirting with me. Ooh. I had to control everything inside of me not to be rude. Oh, man. So, I just smiled at her. And that was all it took for her to ask me out directly. It was just one smile. <laughs> Said yes, reminding myself that I was doing it for myself. And he's wearing the anime shirt too, still getting the girls. Day it is. Back in the back like my day, I couldn't do that. Not that I really tried. <laughs> dating I didn't smile at anyone. And playing with their feelings were any better. Besides, there wasn't any other girl who I genuinely liked and could date. It was better to fake date a heartbreak. Well, I'm glad it's not your sisters. A taste of their own Cause I'm scared that's well. where the story's going. So Chris and I started going out, and let me tell you, it was pure torture. I hated no her. No less of a gold digger than my mother. She would shamelessly ask me to give her presents and stuff. And I get it. Sometimes a little something doesn't hurt everyone. Some balloons. <laughs> Cost like $5. Yeah, I'll give you some balloons. But she was demanding a lot. <laughs> you can get her a little better <laughs> gift than that. Every time. Because there was no way that I was going to spend my money. Especially not on her. I don't blame the you, dude. I don't blame you. She is not a good person. The girls had stopped approaching me. It was a relief. Even though I had to tolerate Kristen, my sisters were really mad, confused, and shocked to see me dating someone. They even tried to Why? convince me to break up with Kristen a few times. I always shut them up with my life, my business. I can date whoever I like. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Ooh! This didn't sit too well with them, of course. Stay in your lane, sisters. Sister? Hi, sisters! <laughs> At that time, I didn't know that they would go ahead and start plotting against me. There were a few hints here and there, but I didn't pay any attention. I had noticed that they had suddenly gotten friendly with Kristen, and I think they all used to meet with her behind my back. Uh-oh, what kind of friendly? Kristen had suddenly changed her behavior towards me and stopped asking for money and stuff. One day, I was at her house because apparently she needed my help with one of her school subjects. Oh, that's what they always How say. I refused her the one time when she actually wanted to study. Anyway, she took me to her room and I started explaining some concepts and stuff to her. <laughs> it's like in the room. All right, well, let me tell you about the quad quadratic formula. See, it all started back in the beginning of time. Oh, and I, don't eat, I, we're gonna get the pen dust too. About an hour later, she was hungry and went downstairs to get some food. Kristen had left her phone in the room with me. How do I know? It pinged with a message. Oh, thank God. I picked it up. I really needed to, to know that. To her when I actually saw who texted her. It was a message from my dear sister, Natalie. Oh, Kristen no, they're up to no to good. convince him to come to the sleepover. What? I was super confused. They wanted me at a sleepover party? Just what the heck was going on? Oh, my God. What? Why was Natalie sending such cryptic sounding messages to Kristen? Something was definitely up. I, I don't trust I have them, known dude. The moment they you got money. Getting friendly with each other. I changed my mind and decided not to give the phone back, only to place it where she had left it. And Kristen oh. came back a few moments later. I thought he was going to keep it. Expected, before I left her house, she begged me to come to Natalie's sleepover party. Uh, where is she doing it? At my house? Please don't say no to this. And if you can, then please join us. Why? Of course I was going to join them. I wanted to know just what they had planned for me. I said yes to her and left. The weekend arrived. I, I think he's lying. I think he actually likes her and he just doesn't want to say. He's too proud because he's got money. He's a big man now. He, dude, this is his anime fantasy. You know he likes anime. And so did the sleepover party. I thought it would be some small affair with a few of my sister's friends, but boy, was I wrong. They literally invited all the girls from their classes. They even sent mom and dad away for the night to where God only knows. <laughs> God only knows? The junkyard? But the million dollar question was, why did they want me at the party? Yes, I, I want to know too. I didn't think much of it when I accepted the invitation, but now... Realizing that I was the only guy amongst all the girls made me somewhat scared. It was really awkward at first. It was really didn't spooky. Know what to do. I didn't talk to any of the girls, and yet they were trying to talk to me as if they had known me for ages. But that's what your sisters I over there. They do. I didn't want to be rude to anyone, so I just sat in the corner with a permanent smile hanging on my face. 
With a perfect- <laughs> Soon, Kristen arrived. I never stopped smiling after that. Uh, it was a perpetual smile. I was never sad ever again. He's saying he hates it, but he's saying he's smiling because there's a bunch of girls there, including his sisters, which is a little suspect. And dragged me right into the middle of the party, okay. which I absolutely despise. But you were smiling! I don't even know what I'm doing here. Honestly, I think it's better if I leave. Oh no, you can't leave so soon, Milton. The fun hasn't even started. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of this. You didn't even ask my permission to have this party. But then, all of the girls surrounded me and pushed me to dance. Oh my god, who's Seriously, that? Seriously, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> I made an excuse to use the bathroom and quite literally ran away from there. I had to think of something. Something fast. He's gonna go in the vents? And I had to also find out what they were planning for me before they could do anything. An idea popped into my head and I was ready to face them off. I went out and got a drink in a totally normal fashion. I knew that my sisters were watching me. I looked like I was drinking a lot, but I actually was just throwing away the drink. I think your sister's a robot. Is she like glitchy? <laughs> drink in the trash can behind the couch. <laughs> in the same way, I pretended to drink more. A lot more. Oh, he pretended After to be time, drunk. I just laid down on the couch and closed my eyes. Natalie and Kristen came up to me and tried to talk to me. But I just slurred my replies and then pretended to pass out. Why they didn't stop me from drinking, I don't know, but it happened. Oh, this is the perfect plan. They checked plan. a few times to see if I was conscious or not before they started talking. Now, this was what I wanted, for them to spill everything in front of me. I guess we can't do what we planned. What did you plan? Yeah, that sucks. Where does he even keep his credit card, though? Oh, <laughs> he's trying to find his credit card. So, they were after my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> he knew all along. What a perfect plan. I should have known. These stupid gold diggers. Aren't you his girlfriend? You should know that. Ha, please. As if I care about him. I'm only with him for his money. He's so stupid to trust me that easily. If only Natalie knew that I didn't care about her. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, we need to get him drunk. Wait though. till she finds out. Not so out. much that he passes out. That way we can get all his secrets out of him. It's my birthday next week. I think that would be the perfect occasion. We can work more on the plan by then. Okay, sounds good to me. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't care if you agree, it sounds good to me. So my sisters and girlfriend had fallen so Ooh, low for money dude, and my guy... secrets that they were going to do such a despicable thing. He's like Lelouch from freaking Code Geass. I to them in any way, but oh boy, it was not my choice. If I could, I would have gotten rid of them in an instant. But I would have just blasted them away, obliterated them with my Gallic gun. <laughs> now, it was important for me to disable this plan of theirs. I was so going to give them a taste of their own medicine. I knew what I had to do. I wouldn't be the one telling my secrets. Instead, they would be exposing themselves at Kristen's birthday party. Oh, oh, I already I had to a know. plan in my mind. And I couldn't wait oh to God. implement it. After that sleepover party, Natalie and Kristen were acting really strange, like, you know, trying to be polite to me and stuff. It was really a pity how hard they were trying. He knows it all, doesn't he? For Kristen to <laughs> announce her birthday party now, because then I could teach them a lesson. Once no, it's over time. already? That birthday party was a whole disaster at another level. A lot of crazy things happened. I will keep you guys updated on the whole thing in a different video. Uh, well, okay. Well, I see now that there's apparently three different parts. I mean, I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was, but it wasn't. But it was still funny. <laughs> Wait till this dude finds out he's adopted. Yeah, it's going to happen. I mean, those sisters definitely gave some weird under like undertones. Uh, but I don't know if it's like that. I don't know, guys. Maybe you have to find out. Um, again, this is... This is a true story. I'll link it down below. Go check out the other ones if you want. I like the narration. That was pretty funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't control you. 